What up guys, I just want to do a quick video on how to uh, uh, calibrate your E-steps on the Ender 3 V2. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to calibrate your E-steps, but they're all on different machines. Um, the Ender 3 V2 is a fairly new machine, so um, this is my first printer, so um, I'm sure for somebody that's experienced the menus and whatnot, uh, you know, all may, might make sense, but for me the menus didn't line up and there wasn't a specific video on how to calibrate um, the Ender 3 V2. So I figured I'd do one of them real quick for you guys. So um, anytime you change a part or upgrade anything on your machine too, uh, that's around your extrusion, it's definitely a good idea to uh, recalibrate your steps. So I upgraded my um, extruder from the TH3D, it's the aluminum metal one, and then the PTFE tough tube, and then the fittings and whatnot. So I'm gonna check my calibration. <clears throat> what you wanna do is you wanna measure out 100 millimeters on your filament. If you can see here, there is a black mark. I've already marked it right there on my filament. And you're measuring from exactly this edge of your extruder. So I've got my caliper already set at 100. I already measured it, but the end of the extruder uh, caliper is a measuring device as well too. So you put it all the way right there to the edge of the extruder there, and then you pull the filament out and you mark exactly at 100 millimeters. All right, after you have that marked at 100 millimeters, you want to go over to your uh, your settings or your menu. You want to go to prepare, or excuse me, control first. You got to have your nozzle temperature heated before it'll allow you to extrude. So you go to control temperature, nozzle temperature, and then set that to um, whatever you print at. 200 should be fine, but set it at 200. Mine's already warmed up and uh, ready to go. And then you go back and then you go to prepare and then you go down to move and then you go to extruder and then you crank this up until it gets to a hundred it's pretty slow but it takes a minute you crank this up to you get a hundred until you hit a hundred crank and crank and crank and crank and almost there and then what this is going to do is it's going to tell the printer to extrude a hundred millimeters of filament Whoops, a little bit past. There we go, boom. So now it's going to start extruding 100 millimeters of filament. And if I've got mine set up correctly, it's going to stop this black line. It's kind of hard to get it to focus. That black line is going to stop exactly right at the edge of the extruder. Now I've already done... Um, this so it should stop correctly but um, to get your the Ender 3 V2 to uh, store the settings you have to have an SD card slotted in there and you have to reset your printer every time too so I did this multiple times to figure out um, how much was uh, you know if it was off I did it like three or four times to, and then I got an average between the all my measurements but each time you have to turn the printer back off. You can't like, so after this is done extruding 100 millimeters, you can't just click it again and have it extrude 100. And if you go to 200, it wasn't adding up either. So, or I guess you could have subtracted 100 off that, excuse me. But um, I was just power cycling mine every time. So after I did a test, I would just power cycle it, go back in, crank it up to um, 100. But it is just about done. Where is the line? Yeah, I, if you can see it, it literally stopped right there. So that is perfect on the money. So after you figure out um, if it was off, what you would do is you would measure. Um, another thing you should do too is you should mark further out than 100 just in case it over extrudes. That way you know how much. But say, let's say it missed the mark. You would come up here on your caliper and you would measure you know, how much it was missing. So say... Let's say it was missing uh, 10 millimeters. There was still 10 millimeters of filament left. Okay, you would take 10 millimeters, subtract it from 100. That's 90, right? And the, all the um, default e-steps for uh, Creality Machines is 93. You can find that number 2 in here in your menu. Go back. Go to Control. Go to Motion. Transmission Ratio. And then E step or transmission ratio E. I've already changed mine to the correct number for mine, but yours should say 93 if you've never changed it. 
Okay, and then so after you do adjust this number, I'm getting ahead of myself real quick, but after you do figure out what you uh, set your e, uh, transmission E ratio to, which are your E steps, after you set that number, you have to go back, back again, and immediately store configuration, and it makes that beep. And you have to have an SD card in slot or inserted in the printer for that to work. But so going back to if you're printer was missing um, say you were 10 millimeters off right so you take a hundred and then you would um, let's see which is the right math I messed up a couple times okay so right here so mine was off seven millimeters is what I ended up with okay so or no excuse me I'm confusing myself here <laughs> so you do a hundred which is the amount of extrusion you told it to do times what your rate is right now which is 93 which is the default which is 9300 okay so this is what i was getting wrong i was getting or i was short uh 648 656 and i just averaged it at 650 okay so that leaves me at 93.5 and then you take this number 9300 and you divide it by 93.5 and that comes out to 99.46 and that's my correct e-step uh, value or calibration or however you want to say it so then I take that number I go back in over here this is what I just showed you you would go to motion sorry it wasn't in the camera transmission ratio e-step ratio or transmission ratio e and you would put that to whatever your calculated number came out to mine was 99.5 and then after you do that Go back, make sure you have an SD card slot inserted or an SD card in there, and go back again. This is under the control menu, and click store or storage configuration. That saves what you've changed in there. So now you would power cycle your machine, turn it back on, go back to control, preheat your nozzle temperature again to 200, right? And then go back out, back out again, and go to prepare and then go to move and now we're just double checking what you did what you are our adjustment so now I set it to extrude exactly 100 millimeters and mine came out exactly perfect it's literally maybe even a hair in there too much sorry I'm trying to focus it's literally right on the edge I'm gonna call that good it looks good to me um, I tried doing this with TPU as well and I was getting wild different numbers um, I want to print, that's what I prefer to print as TPU, I'm an FPV, FPV pilot, so um, that's what I'll mainly be printing on, but I figured I would just get a baseline with the, the PLA and um, go from there. Uh, you should uh, calibrate your flow next, uh, I'm still working on that, so maybe I'll make another video uh, once I get that done, but hopefully this was helpful for somebody. For somebody. Um, if you have any questions... Uh, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.